SCP-004, nicknamed the Colossal Corpse Serpent, appears to be a very aggressive black dragonfish with a case of gigantism. The only thing that seems drastically different is its lack of eyes. We're actually not too sure what it is. We can only assume based on the raw description the men gave before catastrophe. It's been described as looking like a human skull with nothing but a black void for eyes. Nearby, there's a legend of a serpent god who is casted out and bound to the sea as punishment for betrayal, where nothing but darkness surrounded him. Now, I'm not one to believe in fairy tales and legends, but I may have come around on this one. The info we've gathered on this SCP has been relayed to me by a privately funded dive team who are out on a survey mission of strange underwater volcanic activity. The team commonly focuses on seismic readings and monitoring underwater volcanoes, but just last week, an earthquake reading 7.9 on the Richter scale rocked scientists and was felt all the way to the islands of Hawaii. The epicenter was triangulated over the deep waters of the Indo-Pacific. An ROV was sent to investigate first, and through its camera feed, the scientist got a glimpse of something, something big, swimming by, but it was too dark to get a solid ID of whatever this creature was. Until a two-seater submersible named Achilles was sent down, tied to its mothership called Thetis, the people on board prepared their equipment, their notes, and proceeded to the survey site. Clear the bridge. Clear. And copy. Dive, dive, dive. Pressure in the boat. Green board. All right, let's take her down. The two scientists in this submersible were trained on this model to gather information and observe the sea floor, one of which is Captain Stroud. With prior military experience and a biologist with NOAA, he was chosen to control the sub, accompanied by a colleague of his, marine biologist, Mr. McAllen. They went to a depth of around 7,000 feet. We were able to retrieve data from the submersible's internal camera feed, which has audio. Shortly before it was cut, the feed was actively recorded in case anything went awry, which it did. Here is audio from that live feed. Oh, I thought you'd been on several expeditions without being sick. Well, the one I forgot to take my medication and get rushed by everyone is the day I happened to be with you. <laughs> hey, at least it's peaceful quiet down here. No one breathing down our necks to rush anything. Depth, 8,000 feet, limited visibility, external LEDs on, coming up on site 1, over. 8,000 feet, we're estimating at least 5 feet of visibility. You may be in the dark down there, Achilles, but you got us. Let us know what you see down there. Careful any rock outcroppings that might damage the sub. Affirm, visibility increases dramatically with LEDs. We see it now. Closing in. The submersible made its way to site 1. It was as you would expect. Clusters of marine life and coral lined the sea floor where the volcano was. Everything was fine. Then, in the darkness, McAllen spotted something. What the hell? What did you see? Hope was your shadow, Mitch. I really do. I just saw something huge move by ten feet out. Don't let the dark fool you. It was probably a Goliath gripper. Calm down, man. Both men stop to hear a low moan of an animal. They think it could be an undiscovered whale. Whatever it was, it was big. No, bigger than that. Colossal. And then just like that, the nightmare began unfolding for the both of them. Holy fuck, what was that? Thetis, contact, unidentified, 60 degrees southeast, had a near miss just now. Can you guys get an idea on this thing? I only got a good look at its body. Looks like a serpent of some kind, dark in color. I get the feeling it doesn't like our luck. 
got rammed. We lost the front lights. Switching to backup. Oh mon dieu! The legend is true. It's really him. Le serpent au corps colossal. Where the hell are its eyes? Years of being bound by dark render it blind. But I'm guessing it still has some vision left. Probably why it didn't like our lights. Thetis, unknown animal, off her bow. It's not gonna look good for us. Don't send a rescue team, just let people know. If hell is real and is accessible on Earth, the entrance to it is not underground. It's in the abyss of the sea. Death indeed. If you enjoyed this story, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more SCP Undocked content.